Hello and welcome to another episode on Captain's Dry Dock and in the Dry Dock today we're reviewing perhaps the most accurate Star Trek trousers ever made. Let's make it real. So let's talk about trousers and they are perhaps the most overlooked, underrated part of the uniform that not many people seem to address because they're so simple. It's just a black pair of trousers you can get anywhere. In fact, the pair that I've been wearing for the last several years, I just got down at Primark for £10, popped them on. In fact, I just had to cut two slits up in the middle of them to make them flare out just where the boots are, just as the originals were in Star Trek and that was it no one was none the wiser. However, that was until I had this tunic made and the undershirt made by Caroline, and she makes things 100% accurately to the screen use uniforms. And so I bought the top bit, why not just go in for the trousers? So I spoke to her about that, but the problem is with Star Trek trousers, if you've seen them on sale on auction sites, is that they're not very practical because they actually have braces stitched into them so they go over your shoulders to stop them from falling down. And also Gene Roddenberry never liked creases in his uniforms because in the 23rd century they didn't need irons and they got material that never creased and so there was elastic at the bottom of the trousers and braces at the top so they were taunt and never wrinkled. So have a look at that next time you watch the TV show or the films. So I asked Caroline if I could actually change them slightly to for my comfort levels and she did that. So I'm gonna go over these trousers and show you in detail exactly what makes them different from your standard Primark or Target or whatever clothes store you got in your country, the difference between them two. And believe me, it's worth it. So let's work from the top and work our way down. So you look around the waist, and one thing you notice, there are no loopholes for a belt because they don't have belts. However, that's what makes these trousers so special because they're made to my measurements. As soon as I pop them on straight from the box, they fit perfectly. Who has a pair of trousers which aren't elasticated that didn't require a belt either and stayed on exactly where your waistline is? I don't have any trousers like that whatsoever. So this is what makes it so much more comfortable than any other pair of trousers you're ever gonna wear. The next thing is how it fastens up. So there's no button, but there's an invisible zip. It's something that's quite common throughout this entire uniform, these invisible zips, meaning that you can't really see them because the actual handle to grab onto, to pull up and pull down is really, really small. And also they're so tucked away, you can't see the teeth of the zip itself. And also at the very, very top, just to make sure it doesn't slip down because sometimes zips do like to open up from the top down if you're putting a little bit of stress on it, you're sitting down there's a hook and loophole there to stop that from happening. The next thing about Star Trek trousers which differentiate immediately from any other black trousers are the big loopholes on each thigh. There's one on the left and one on the right uh, facing the front and the reason being if you've got a phaser or a tricorder that's where they attach because there's attachments on those devices which allow you to slip that onto these trousers. I have neither at the moment, but in one day I may get a hold of a phaser and tricorder and pop them on. But either way, I like the detail there because that says those are actual Star Trek trousers. Going down a leg, you'll notice the seam. So there's a seam going straight down the middle. It's not irons, just like a shirt is. It's actually a proper stitch seam going all the way down. And finally, the thing that really differentiates these trousers from any other are the slits. So the slits go up by two to three inches from the bottom all the way up the middle of the leg. And what makes these trousers extra special is that Caroline gave me the option to include invisible zips, meaning I can adjust the length of that slit in the trousers. Why would I do that? Well, it just depends on the boots. Some boots are different from others, which means that you may want to have that slit adjusted, which I can do. And once more, those zips are invisible. You can't see them when you're actually looking down at them. The last thing about these trousers are the elastic straps that go underneath the boot because as I mentioned before, Gene Roddenberry did not want to see creases in the uniforms and to do that with the trousers, they are elasticated at the bottom to stretch them out slightly. So those bands go outside your boot and in between your heel and the top of your foot. 
So, what do you think about my trousers? Aren't they cool? Hasn't that made you realise that there's something very different about Star Trek trousers compared to any other trousers? And I have to say, it's not just the way they look, it's the way they feel. So I actually made sure to ask Caroline to make these trousers to the slim type of pattern that I like in my trousers. Because with Star Trek trousers, and I don't know if you know about this, they're very, shall we say, US, so baggy, really loose fitting, which is great for the actors who have to act all day in them. But when you're like me and you want to look sharp at a cosplay or Comic Con uh, event, you want to look sleek. And so what I did, I sent her a pair of my trousers that I absolutely love because they're slim fit and asked her to make them the same sort of cut as them. And that's what she did with me. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you do want to contact Caroline, the links are down below and she'll be glad to chat to you. And uh, yeah, thank you for staring at my butt while I was uh, giving a review of these trousers. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode and you take care.